Okay, uh, sorry about that. My video totally got cut off. We're going to take this uh, alkyl halide and convert to this alcohol. So this again is going to be a multi-step process because we don't know a, a set of reagents that's going to let us go directly from uh, removing a bromine and putting an OH group on all in one step. So again, we want to retrosynthesize. We want to ask ourselves, do we know how to make an alcohol? Yes, you have now three different strategies of making an alcohol from an alkene. So if we had a carbon-carbon double bond right here or here, which is the same spot because of the symmetry, if we had a double bond right here, we could definitely put on an OH group there. And so then we want to ask ourselves, can we convert this alkyl halide into an alkene with the double bond right here? Yes, we do know how to do that also. So we're going to take this alkyl halide and turn it into an alkene. We're going to use just a regular base, like my favorite, methoxide. And that will put a carbon-carbon double bond right there. And then we want to put an OH group on this molecule, and we want to put the OH group right here, which is on the least substituted carbon. So we're doing an anti-Markovnikov addition, and the reagents that we use for that are the BH3 in THF, followed by the hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide mixture. And we get the desired product. Go ahead and pause this and write study question and summary for this section.